Hi, it's Marcy. Do you feel the chill in the air? Well, it can only mean one thing. Fall is on its way, and I'm excited to bring you my official fall fashion preview. From jackets to skirts of all lengths and sizes, this autumn, there's something every girl will fall for. Hi, I'm Marcy Guevara, and as a fashion diva, who happens to be a big girl in a skinny world, I look forward to fall because I get to switch it up. And of course, I love layering. Now, I may live in sunny California, but I welcome any opportunity to throw on a pair of boots and a cool jacket. I've scoured the season's hottest runway trends, and I'm gonna show you which high fashion looks will be adaptable for the plus size girl. Without further ado, here's my fall fashion preview. So far, the year in fashion has been all about color. While that's not changing, this season, the hues are. Now, if you were too shy to do new colors in the spring and summer, look at this as another opportunity to branch out. And you can try a more muted palette, baby steps. I suggest going with a midnight blue top like this one by Ann Taylor and pairing it with some really dark Svoboda jeans. If you were totally into the concept of color, you'll be daring enough to wear something like this mustard Ishakti dress. This is a fabulous maxi or something a little shorter. How about this Teabags LA shirt in orange? This is like a shirt dress and so super cute. Another trend we saw at Fashion Week is androgyny. Women's wear will be taking notes from men's wear. This means you'll be wearing clothes with a masculine edge to them. While I like to dress girly, I believe in balance. And there's nothing wrong with mixing a billowy blouse with a rugged riding boot. Or this Jessica London military style coat in ivy green. You want the menswear to look structured, not slouchy. Paired with a tuxedo inspired shirt and with a Ralph Lauren stretched twill pant is the right way to interpret this trend. To toughen up the look, you can wear that same tuxedo inspired shirt by Ann Taylor with some dark wash jeans and something like this Alfani jacket, which is a take on the classic motorcycle jacket, but a little softer. Now it wouldn't be fashion week without a bit of irony. On the one hand, we saw menswear inspired clothing, but we also saw ultra feminine looks reminiscent of the 20s and 40s. Skirts were everywhere. Pencil skirts, pleated skirts, peplum skirts. Skirts that fall at the knee or below were the common theme. So if you're not a fan of showing your legs, this is great news. This is a trend you can be totally comfortable with keeping in the fall. Pairing a simple pencil skirt with a satiny top, black tights and a sling back or a pointy toe heel is an elegant way to keep this retro trend alive. You'll have plenty of ways to keep yourself warm while being fashion forward. The Sony reintroduced the chunky cable knit sweater into fall collections. You can wear it with a straight leg jean, add some jewel drop earrings. Hello, that's gonna be a great look this season. I love this cozy inclination, but I will say to watch your perspectives. If you do a knit sweater, make sure it's somewhat body conscious because chunky knits that are too baggy will make you look bigger than you are and can quickly look sloppy. I'm sure you're wondering what's going on with prints this fall. They are staying for the season. Pretty much every print is up for grabs from spring. You'll see big bloom and vintage garden florals on dresses and tunics. One slight fall update though is that these will be in reds and blues and blacks and whites. Art Deco inspired prints will also make a showing, keeping with the spirit of the 20s and 40s. Have some fun with these and remember, when using a print, keep the rest of the outfit simple. Your print is your statement piece, so no ornate jewelry. And that's my fall fashion rundown. For an insider's look at fall streetwear, I consulted my friend Nicolette Mason to get the good word. What is one essential must have for fall? Amazing outerwear is so crucial for fall. When I first moved to New York, I overheard women in a dressing room and they were talking to each other about how they should invest in a great coat and piece of outerwear. And one of them said to the other, your coat is your car. And that's something that, it was eight years ago, but it's totally stuck with me since then because it's true. Your coat is the first thing anyone sees you in once the temperatures stop dropping below 70. Mm -hmm. So investing in an amazing trench or a fantastic pico, MAC jacket, like so important for the fall and winter months. Well, I don't know about you ladies, but I'm exhausted thinking about all these trends for fall. What pieces are you falling for? Tell me your wish list in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and remember, it may be a skinny world out there, but style has no size.